Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today, in this video, we'll talk about how to rename files in UiPath. So, I'm going to show you two, three ways to rename files. You can take as per your understanding and which is easy to use. So, first, we have this file in this folder. We have this text file abc.txt. And I want to rename this with ABCD like that. So here you can use invoke method and in the target type we are using Microsoft.VisualBasic.FileIO.FileSystem. This is one of the important namespace that we are using here that helps us to rename files or move files or copy files like that. Target type will be this and method name you can use rename file and then it takes two parameters old file name and new file name from this parameters click on this and you can pass two parameters and that will be string old file name and new file name now here old file name I have taken this variable I am passing this and here I have created two variable old file name and new file name in this old file name I am passing this one the complete file path this one abc.txt and I want to rename this with abcd.txt now you see here let me run that run file and you can see here we are getting one error it means no need to pass complete path for new file name so what we can do here in this parameter in new file just delete this one so only in the old file it will take the complete path of the file and then while renaming that it will just use the same path but file name will be different and now just run that and you will see here it will rename this abcd.txt you can see now this has been renamed successfully now I'm going to show you another method another way to rename that that one let me put in the comment now let me enable this one and in this one I'm using invoke code activity invoke code activity here I will be writing vb.net code from right side you can see vb.net edit this one and here you just need to write the same thing that we have used in our that invoke method we are using file io dot file system dot rename file and we are passing old file comma new file old file this is the variable that parameter we are passing here you can see old file new file this will be the argument name and this is the value that we are getting from this variable right so it will rename this file change the name as a abc here and let me run that again and you can see this has been renamed again now let me change this one so that I can show you different other one now the third way you have seen first we are using invoke method and second we are using this invoke code third that is simple only you need to use invoke code activity and in that you need to write rename open close bracket old file comma new file let me delete this and let me just write here rename you can see we have this rename that is a part of file system and file system you can see you need to import here that namespace Microsoft dot visual basic dot file io and then you can use this here you can see in the parameter in the arguments we are passing same thing old file name will be just argument name new file name will be the argument name now we are passing this value from this variable here old file and new file you can also directly put that value but that will be hard coded always use variables here now you can see the third one is it's very easy only you need to write rename and then your old file name and new file name now let me run this one 
and now here you can see in the output what happened here this rename it is walking in a different way so while using this code this vb code only rename and old file name new file name what happens here it is taking file name from here but while rename renaming this file name as we are passing here only file name so you know that automatically sometimes what happens if we are working on a project and we are just passing our file name then it will consider that this file is available in your project folder right if you are taking input from it from that project folder you just need to put in the double quotes and just file name so it will consider that you are taking the input from your project folder the so same here also while renaming this if you are not passing the file location that path so it will just rename that and move that file to the project folder let me show you here and you can see here the renamed file is now here abc d dot txt we have abc dot txt so you have to take the complete path here also in the old file and the in the new file both you have to use the complete path so now let me change this abc dot txt and then you can just run that and you see here now it will work fine as expected and you can see here it has successfully renamed the file and now this file is available on the same location so by this way you can rename files i hope you like this video if so then please press the like button and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet and please subscribe my another channel blue prism rpa and pande 2.0 i hope you will support me there also Thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you